Vasudha Bhopal, India, incident resulting in more than 2,000 deaths. Philips Petroleum Company, Pasadena, incident resulting in 23 deaths and 132 injuries, BASF. Cincinnati, incident resulting in 2 deaths, and IMC, Stillington, incident resulting in 8 deaths and 128 injuries. Health Administration, OSHA, created the first PSM standard in 1990 in response to a series of catastrophic incidents related to highly hazardous chemicals. The proposed standard of OSHA emphasized the management of hazards associated with highly hazardous chemicals and established a comprehensive management program that integrated technologies, procedures, and management practices. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, promulgated the PSM standard in 1992, which incorporated 14 elements, to decrease the occurrence of process safety incidents. These 14 elements are listed as follows. 1. Employee participation. 2. Process safety information. 3. Process hazard analysis. 4. Operating procedures. 5. Training. 6. Contractors. 7. Free startup safety review. 8. Mechanical integrity. 9. Hot work permit. 10. Management of change. 11. Incident investigation. 12. Emergency planning and response. 13. Compliance audits. 14. Trade secrets. The purpose of the 14 elements regulation is to prevent or minimize the consequences of catastrophic releases of toxic, reactive, flammable, or explosive chemicals. All these elements mentioned above are interlinked and interdependent and every element either contributes information to other elements for the completion or utilizes information from other elements in order to be completed. It requires the industries to execute suitable leading and lagging process safety metrics. Metrics are means that are used to evaluate and track the performance of a facility's process safety management program. For companies that handle highly hazardous chemicals, metrics can be used to quantify how a process has performed historically, how it might perform in the future, and where improvements can be made to keep workers safe. Effectiveness of PSM depends on process safety metrics, management review, audit findings and particularly workforce involvement. In the developed countries such as United States, European Union and United Kingdom the process safety management programs and relevant regulations are in place. The third world countries are working to implement process safety management programs and regulations. This is the end of today's video. You may send us your comments and observations about the content of this video. You may follow us via Facebook, LinkedIn and YouTube by typing Petrosalt and Unamart. For receiving our videos on various topics of asset integrity management and process safety management, you may subscribe our channel. We deliver training courses on various topics of asset integrity management and process safety management as in-house, public place and online programs. Thank you very much for watching this video.